Well, good morning, and uh, welcome to my channel. And uh, I also do a podcast on this channel, uh, he uh, down to earth but heavenly minded. And uh, today, I'm just I'm going to ramble a little bit. <laughs> well, what I want to do is I just want to thank all my subscribers. And I never ask any of my subscribers to subscribe to my channel. I'm, I'm not trying to promote myself or my channel, though I would like, you know, subscribers. And the reason I decided to do this this morning is uh, I've been kind of watching my stats, you know, what's happening on my channel because I really want to know if people are watching the content I'm putting out here. If I'm just spinning my wheels or if I'm really accomplishing something. And I noticed this morning that my number was getting up pretty close to 500 subscribers. I'm at 491 this morning. So uh, I just wanted to kind of have a talk with you about why I do my, uh, why I do what I do. And what I do is I go out and I search the web. And when I find something that's really good, I want to share it with people. Now, I know a lot of people read the news and they want to know what's going on in the political realm. Even though I am political to a sense that I, I, I vote, I do my part. Uh, I know that I can make changes, uh, not through uh, force, but just by doing my part in society. And I know there's a lot of people that are the same way. You know, this morning, <laughs> I got to tell you something really funny. I, 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 you know, certain things really hit me and I laugh at myself all the time. And that's good to laugh at yourself. But I got three spots on my on my screen, uh, let's see here, uh, the, uh, if I can get my finger, I guess it's over there. There's three little spots and I got a little wet paper towel that I was going to try to wipe them off and they wouldn't come off. And I thought, well, I'm going to move my screen. So I grab my window and I start moving it all around the screen and those spots stayed in the same place. Then I realized it was something on a table behind me that is shining and my light is reflecting on it and I can't move them. <laughs> I just thought you'd get a kick out of that. So, you know, when we get old, sometimes we just, in fact, we do it when we're young too. We do stupid things. Well, anyway, getting back to the subject, uh, I noticed that it's not me really that you're out here to see. Uh, it, it's not really what I have to say either as much as it is. Well, maybe sometimes it is, but most of the time it's just my content. And uh, I notice that my content is spiritual, by the way. I try to find spiritual things. Now, I know there's people that are watching my channel. Uh, their thoughts of spiritual is what Hollywood feeds them all the ghosts and goblins and all that stuff. Um, by the way, I don't follow Simpson. My wife just happened to buy this shirt for me. She knows I like donuts. So. <laughs> and I also have my Mickey Mouse coffee cup. Mm, good coffee this morning, too. Uh, but Hollywood is even so bad. And Disney is... I don't know. Disney's going off the deep end. I remember when I was a kid, Disney, it was something good. But it's changed a lot. The world has changed a lot since I've been born. I was born in the 30s. Uh, yeah, the 1930s. And uh, I've seen a lot happen in the world. And one thing I have seen was the decline of spiritual things. There are a lot of people out there that, that are religious, but religious, religion is different than what I'm talking about. There's two things. There's religion and there's Christianity. Now, 
The difference between them is just one word. Religion is do and Christianity is done. Do and done. And what I mean by that is religion, and this is true with most religions, not just uh, Christ, you know, Christian religions or so-called Christian religions. People are trying to do something to earn favor with God. They're never going to do it. Uh, there's nothing we can do. Um, in fact, in the book of Romans, I think it is, it says that uh, no one can be justified by the deeds of the law. Now, a lot of people say, well, why did God give the law then? God gave the law for this reason, to show us that we fall short of what God expects from us. Holiness. God is all holy, and we are the furthest thing from being holy. We are sinners. And no sin can come in the presence of God. So that means no matter what we do, how we try, uh, we can never uh, live up to the standards of God. You know, we could all stand on the shore of the ocean, pick up a rock and throw it as far as we can throw it. Now, some of you out there probably can throw a rock a lot further than I can. But it doesn't make any difference. We all fall short. We cannot throw it across the ocean. And in order to please God, it's like throwing a rock across the ocean. We can never make it. There's only one person that lived up to the standards of God. And that was Jesus Christ. And he was the only righteous one. Uh, and he was born of a woman but not of the seed of the man. Uh, so he didn't inherit the sin nature, but he was in a sinful wall, world full of sinful people. But God himself could not come down and do this. So he sent his son, Jesus Christ, born of a woman. And we're getting into the Christmas season. And he, uh, became a man, became flesh and blood like you and me, came in a humble state. He humbled himself and became a man, just a mere man, yet without sin. That's what the Bible teaches. Well, he took our sins upon himself and took them to Calvary, and he nailed them to the cross. And that's the only way we can uh, be justified. Uh, the wages of sin is death. There's no getting around it. And we're not talking about just physical death. We're talking about spiritual death. And what spiritual death is, is separation from God. When you were born into this world, you are automatically separated from God because of our first parents, because sin had entered the world, disobedience to God. And because of that, uh, we're all sinners. You know, I brought up the question yesterday at our discussion meeting that uh, are we sinners because we sin or do we sin because we're sinners? The truth is, it's both. We are sinners, and we do sin, and there's no getting around it. But I got to have somebody to confess my sins to, and it's not another man, not a priest. I go right to the Lord, and the Bible says that if we confess our sins, he's just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Do you believe that? Because if you don't, uh, there's no hope. And the reason I say that is because it says uh, without faith, we cannot please God. We have to believe what he says. And how do we know what he says? He left us a book and he put it all in a book for us. 
people will say, well, that book is so full of errors and whatnot. There might be a few little scribal errors or whatever, but the content is this, is okay. It's, it's all right. There are parts of the Bible that, uh, you know, they're questionable, but to be honest with you, in the original language, in the original manuscripts that were wrote, and we have a few copies, well, we have a lot of copies, really, uh, but there are scribal errors. But it's like, I forgot to dot the I, I forgot to put a comma, I, you know, I misspelt the word. Uh, uh, you know, little things like that, that man is capable of doing, but the content is 100% from God. We can draw from the Bible, I don't, you know, what God really wants for us. And when I think about this, you know, I think that's why my subscribers, you know, that's why I'm growing in numbers, because of the content I put out here. It explains a lot of the things that I'm saying, and I'm not a good, you know, I'm not no celebrity. I'm not anybody famous. And I like it that way, by the way. I don't have to have guards at my door. I don't have, you know, nobody's trying to shoot me. At least I don't think so. And I do leave my channel open for comments and I get comments and I have discussions. I'm on Facebook. Uh, you could look on my, my Facebook page, uh, see what I do. Uh, you could find me under my name. My name is Irv Risch or Irving Risch. And, uh, I also, you know, on a couple other platforms, you know, uh, truth. I'm on that. Uh, and also, uh, Twitter, but I don't do a lot of tweeting, <laughs> tweeting. <laughs> But anyway, kind of looking over at my channel this morning and, and I see I got uh, 6,484 views in the last month. That's pretty good. And I got 543 hours of people listening to my channel. And like I say, it's not because of me, it's because of my content. I know I have good content out there. And I, uh, by the way, am not affiliated with any uh, denominational church. I'm not a Lutheran or a Methodist or a Baptist or I'm, I'm none of that. I'm a Christian. I'm a follower of Christ, like many of you out there. I meet with another group of Christians and just an assembly type meeting. We're not, we don't go by any name. We don't have a pastor. Now that's in this day and age, it's kind of hard to believe in it. I don't, we don't have a pastor, but we have some great teachers. God has given the church, the true church, his true followers, living stones that make up the living church. You know, the church is not a building. It's us. It's the people. The people make up the church. True believers in Jesus Christ, true followers in Christ make up the church. And that's how I meet. And yes, we have teachers that expound, expound the word to us. And when we study the word of God, we go through it verse by verse, chapter by chapter, book by book. And we really try to understand what it's saying. And really, that's what God expects us. We are to grow in the grace and the knowledge of him. It's all Christ, none of us. In him, we are what we are. And Paul said that, and he, you know, he knows that Christ stopped him right in his tracks. He was out basically killing Christians. And God saved him on the road to Damascus. And I know I'm rambling, I'm going from thing to thing, and I do that. Uh, old people have the right to do that. 
we lived our we lived we paid our dues we lived long enough so we could do that and we want to talk to you young people out there and the reason that old people like to talk to young people is we've experienced life's hard knocks yes <laughs> i've done some crazy things in my life and i tell you i'm glad that the lord had mercy on me and looked out for me. Now, I'm going to share with you my my all time favorite verse in the Bible. It was back when God was going to judge the world because it was so wicked. He sent a flood and he destroyed everything except eight people. And this verse I love is when it says, and Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. You know, I believe that Noah probably might have been a good man, but in God's eyes, he still fell short, just like we all do. But because of God's grace and mercy and love, he spared one man and his family. The reason he did that is he wanted to replenish the earth because that's what he told Noah to do after the flood. So yes, we all come from Adam and Eve, but all our descendants died except for Noah. So we could trace back to Noah. We can go back to the days before the flood, but we all come from Noah in the sense that we come from one of his sons uh their loins ham sham and josephats i think it was but anyway uh just getting back to uh why i'm making this video this morning is that i just want to thank you I never ask you to subscribe to my channel and i don't think i will but if you choose to that's great thank you for doing that but uh what i want you to do is listen to the content that i have on my channel and if it suits you then do what you have to do uh i think my big thing was i put the entire uh commentary matthew henry's commentary in audio form audio and text form and I put it on my channel and I do audio books. And uh, the funny part about it is I'm wearing earphones right now and I could, I can just barely hear. I'm deaf, completely deaf in one ear and I only got partial hearing in the other and very little. So I'm almost deaf and yet I'm doing sound, things that deal with sound. So if there's any problem with my sound in my videos, just comment, let me know, and I'll try to make some adjustments. Uh, if it's too loud, too soft, uh, but if it's on the loud side, as long as it's not distorted, you can always turn the volume down a little bit. But I don't want to get too loud to where I distort things. So uh, just, a couple things I'm thinking about here as I'm making this video. And I run the uh, the the sound room uh, at the chapel. <laughs> Deaf guy running the sound room. And uh, but I have people that tell me when things are wrong and I can make a few adjustments. I don't know if you noticed or not, but it's it's early in the morning. And you see my window back here, it's starting to get light. And uh, winter's upon us. We got our first snow yesterday. And it's not even Thanksgiving yet. Uh, turn around and look. Yeah, we still have got the snow, but it's not snowing right now. But it's in a forecast. So. And I don't worry about shoveling my snow or anything. My, I got a son that's wonderful son and his business is lawn care in the summer and snow removal in the winter and he comes over 
and he takes care of the old guy. Oh, I love my son for that. Though I do have six children, and I got a whole bunch of grandchildren and a whole bunch of great-grandchildren. The Lord has blessed me. I've seen my family. I've seen my great-grandchildren uh, play sports and get ready to graduate from high school. So I've lived a long life. And my goal in life right now is to get the word of God out to you. Get as many good writers, and there's a lot of good writers. I write a little bit, but I'm not a good writer like many other ones out there. I'm a good talker, but I'm not a good preacher. That's because I don't bullet point everything and try to follow something. But we do have discussion groups. We have panel discussions. We have a, a teaching ministry and I record all this stuff and I post it on my channel. So if you like things like this, follow me. If you don't, that's fine. But you're missing out on a lot. And just remember, your thoughts of spiritual things can sometimes be worldly. And there is a spiritual realm out there. And I really believe this, that people dabble in things that they shouldn't, and they are being deceived. You got to follow God. Well, with that said, I'm going to end this podcast and my, this video. I don't know if you can really call this my podcast or not, but I do a podcast. Well, I want you to have a great day. Get you a good cup of coffee like I got. I got a little warmer over here too, by the way. That's the reason I got a Mickey Mouse cup is my wife bought me that warmer in that coffee cup man she knows i don't like cold coffee but i love co i love hot coffee well with that said i want you to have a great day lord bless and really uh pick up your bible and read it and you're going to find out so many truths and we should read our bibles every day and you know the thing is you find things that you read before and all of a sudden something jumps out at you. It's like mining for gold or mining for beautiful diamonds. And once in a while, you'll find a great jewel. And that's why I read the Bible. Okay, bye for now. I'm going to end my, my recording.